you have successfully completed the most critical theory sections. Now it's the time for the fun part. In this section, we are going to try to implement our own artificial neural network. As a part of this implementation, we are going to use MNIST dataset, which is a repository for handwritten digits between 0 and 9. This is a kind of classification problem and our target is to recognize each of those digits using our artificial intelligence model. Before we jump into our coding section, let's see how this MNIST digit dataset looks like. Primarily this is handwritten digits and the digits are between 0 to 9. So basically we have total 10 different class and it contains training data as well as the test data set. Training data contains around 60,000 records. 60k training data and test data contains another 10,000 handwritten digits. So we have the already pre classified levels for the training data and as well as for the test data. This is a uh, array kind of things, single dimensional array which contains only one column and that column value contains values between 0 and 9 which represents the true class of those images. Okay. Now these input data sets are basically image of uh, grayscale image of uh, pixel 28 by 28 so it, it somehow looks like 20, 28 pixels by 28 pixels that means we have <coughs> 28 columns and 28 rows if we, if we convert it uh, to some sort of array kind of representations and the handwritten digits are like this is 7, so you will get all those pixels and this 7, this particular sections, these set of pixels will have values 1 and the rest of the things will have 0. <coughs> and output contains corresponding output will have only one cell that will have value of 7. So MNIST contain handwritten digits of total 10 different classes. The training data contains 60,000 records. Test data contains another 10,000 records. <coughs> Those images are basically 28 by 28 pixel image and which contains those handwritten digits and corresponding levels are already pre-designated for those uh, two classes. Our target is to implement or create our model so that our model can automatically recognize uh, what this particular image means. In this case it is 7, human eye we can, we can say this is 7 <coughs> but our model should recognize this is number 7. Okay, so that is our target. So let's jump into our coding section. Alright, one more thing something called one hop mode okay i think this particular thing is done so this is called one hop mode sometimes it is called one hot encoding what happens here any particular number is being represented it's, it's converted to represent in the form of array of true classes of all the possible classes uh, I, will, I will write down the example it will be much easier to understand suppose we have one example called number 7 
and we want to represent it as uh, one in one part mode and we have total 10 different class from 0 to 9 so it would be something like right so let me write it down here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay if it is number 7 so this particular field column will have 1 and rest of the other columns will contain 0 okay the number corresponding column will have 1 rest of the columns will have 0 this particular conversion is known as one part mode and I will, I will give one more example it will be much clearer uh, suppose we have 2 so in that case what will happen you're right the column number 2 column name 2 will have value 1 and rest of the columns will have 0 values ok it's going upward that's ok ok this will have 1 this will have 1 for those values like this this particular kind of encoding is known as one part encoding ok all right